No, that pretty much sums it up that we are looking into how Allah uh, does connect to moon gods historically and how uh, the god for whom the Kaaba was built was indeed a moon god. And that uh, identity was assigned to Allah. And then Muhammad was like, no, 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 these things about Allah, they're just not true. So like, don't pay attention to them even though this is entirely a pagan site with pagan beliefs behind it. And the Hajj itself uh, shows all of these pagan origins and these lunar connections. Um, so first we're going to have a funny video that I found today mm -hmm. uh, about uh, another tradition in Islam <laughs> that is interestingly uh, nocturnal as well, but specifically the Ramadan. So we can just go mm -hmm. right into that. Absolutely. Yep. We're, we'll start with something fun, not directly related, but always good to start on a light note. مرحبا وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته. يا شيخ اليوم بالغلط وقعت ووقعت تمي شاورما مع زيادة طحينية. نعم. وكمان قطع التفاح وتقريبا ثلاثة لتر ماء. فمش عارف هل أكمل صيامي ولا أطعمني الله وسقاني. So, so what do you think? Uh, how plausible is this that he fell down and and uh, food? And water fell into his mouth, accidentally breaking the fast. Three liters of make? water. Three, <laughs> yeah, liters. three liters. <laughs> three liters. <laughs> but Allah has fed him. <laughs> so he's trying to he's trying to play it off as if he hasn't actually broken the fast. That you know, oh, I didn't choose to break the fast. Rather, instead, it was, you know, it it just happened to be that way. It just happened to fall apart like that. Um, I just died died when i saw that because <laughs> the expression the expression on the the uh, imam's face too because at first it's like okay you know you're saying that you accidentally broke your fast in like an, a convoluted way right but then he's like and an apple and three liters of water and then he's like did allah feed me <laughs> it's like no <laughs> you liar <laughs> So. Absolutely. So I'll put a link to that. I meant to do it before we went live, but I'll, I'll get a link. Uh, I, you know, I do want to give credit where credit is due. Someone obviously spent some time putting that skit together after seeing that humorous actual clip of a Muslim calling in to a, ask the sheikh a question and then uh, being dumbfounded in response, like, uh, I don't know what to say to this idiot calling in now. <laughs> Because especially with this, this with shame culture, like you get the you get the kind of uh, westernized chest thumping Muslims, but you're really not supposed to like go. Yeah, I think you're full of it. You can you can say that in Western culture, and in westernized Eastern people, you get that, but you don't get that that same sort of thing whenever you're supposed to be kind of on the same side like that. It's very funny. Yes, yeah, the the words were matching the subtitles. They were. They were correctly subtitled, I believe. Right. Yeah, I have no it's, reason it's, to doubt the, it. I only could recognize a couple of words, but they were the same of the couple I could recognize. Because remember, I do most of my stuff just reading, right? Yeah, hearing a language and, and reading a language are very different. So, All right. So uh, did you want to dive right into the presentation then? Yes, we can do that. I should actually share my screen. That will make it much easier for you to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be a bit, bit helpful, a bit helpful. All right. 